हेलो स्टूडेंट साई राम हव आर यू ऑल आई होप सो फाइन आई एम संगीता अम्बेडकर यू आर एस एस टीचर एस एस मीन्स सोशल स्टडीज इन विच वी हैव ई वी एस टू एंड ई वी एस वन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ई वी एस टू दैट इज हिस्ट्री दिस इज द कवर पेज ऑफ हिस्ट्री टेक्स्ट बुक बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन आई वुड लाइक you to ask one question yes try to answer it what you studied in standard 4 yes can you recollect the things no shall i help you okay just have a look on those pictures yes now can you recollect the things studied in standard 4 yes whose pictures are those yes come on come on recollect yes yes now answer yes right last year in standard 4 we studied the life of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj and his mission of establishing swaraj very good yes now we will start with our chapter first what is history in this lesson there are four sub topics yes yes history a science that tells us about events in the past yes second the scientific method of history history and us the past and the future from those four sub topics today we are going to learn the first two sub topics now let's see the first sub topic history a science that tells us about events in the past now events in the past means the things which has already passed away or had been taken place so the time before the birth of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj was 400 years ago or we can even say 400 years before now what is this picture about any guess yes right clock clock indicates time and for our convenience we divide time in different ways past present future past means the time that has already gone by or passed away for example some time ago yesterday last year last year means fourth standard last year you were in standard 4 right yes next is present present means the time that we are in for example now today this year this year means at present you are in fifth standard at present now you are learning history our first chapter what is history yes right very good next is future future means the time that is yet to come for example after some time tomorrow 
next year next year means you will be in standard 6 not yet appeared yes that is future yes you can understand more clearly with the help of this picture yes see the picture we will start with present we are 10 years old today means today your age is 10 years but in past day of birth 10 years ago means 10 years ago you were born and in future we will be 20 years old after 10 years means you are going to be 20 years old after 10 years did you understand students okay let's see the second sub topic read the sub topic yes the scientific method of history the first scientific method is the special characteristic of all science is that the facts or evidence can be repeatedly tested in experiment means the special features of all sciences and that the facts means true things or reality or evidence means that make you believe that something is true can be repeatedly means to do it over and over again now the second scientific method is the method of using a number of different tests to determine whether the evidence is reliable this means different tests are done many a times to get a result that you can trust now the third scientific method is it is not possible to recreate the events that have happened in the past this means we cannot create again the events that happened in the past now the fourth scientific method is history is regarded as a scientific discipline because it uses scientific scientific method while first looking for collecting evidence now collecting evidence means proof looking for collecting evidence means looking for collecting proof second examine the evidence and studying the proof. examine the evidence means study the evidence and the third putting together evidence putting together evidence means putting together the proof evidence means proof
Now the fifth scientific method is when required help is taken from other sciences. Now students other sciences means you can say geography, biology, physics, chemistry, mathematics means if the help is required we can take help from those all sciences. Now the next sixth scientific method is history is not written solely on the basis of imagination. Yes students history is not written solely on the basis of imagination means only on imagination history cannot be written as as you have studied history in fourth standard about Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj the story which you studied in it are not only imagination they are happened in past and the evidence are proved with the help of forts in Maharashtra right now the seventh scientific method is the sources of history are as follows now we have three sources of history see the a material source b written source c oral sources now we will see the material sources material sources means the study of things or objects for example ancient objects ancient objects means objects or things from earlier time structures structures means gateway of India you know from Mumbai then uh, Shuneri fort Pratapgarh fort uh, Raigarh fort those all are known as structures of Maharashtra then the third one is sculpture now sculpture means object or idols from made of stones wood clay next is pots and then coins so see those pictures see the see this picture of pot pots and now there's a coins you will get some idea about material source now the b written sources now, written sources means those which are in the form of written text they are used by historians to reconstruct ancient medieval and modern history for example inscription now inscription means students words that are written or cut on something so you can see here copper plates are there books manuscript see the pictures of copper plates books and many scripts now next is see 
oral sources now what is oral sources oral sources are those which can be spoken are told and passed from one generation to other generation for example poadas epics fables poadas are sung in marathi epics are stories from mahabharata and ramayana fables are told by our grandparents next is eight scientific method with the help of tested evidence past events are put into a proper sequence and a historical account is written means all the proofs and past events are arranged properly and the history is written let's summarize the sub topics what we have learned today first is history a science that tells us about events in the past in it we learned to divide time in three ways past present and future secondly we have learned the eight scientific method of history now students all are going to take a notebook and a pen if you don't have a new notebook you can use old notebook or a sheet of paper and write down the home assignment Roman first classify the sources of history using the chart given below sources of history coins letters forts powadas pots copper plates old structures stone inscriptions pillars biographies rock cut caves epics fables now think over it yes now write down the answer material sources coins forts pots old structures pillars rock cut caves now written sources letters copper plates stone inscriptions biographies pran sources powadas epics fables Roman two. Answer the following questions. First question: What is scientific method? Write the answer. The method of using a number of different tests to determine whether the evidence is reliable is called the scientific method yes students right wrote now write down the second question 
what is the special characteristic of science answer testing of facts or evidence in the experiments which can be repeated anywhere and any time is the special characteristic of science yes students enough for today now we will meet in the next period of evs2 and you are going to revise everything okay bye thank you